If you're watching this video, July 16th and 17th, all the way to the 21st, I believe, I will be in Jersey and Connecticut for the American Cichlid Association. Yes, Cichlid, Craze, Holy Grail. Be there if you're in the tri-state area or anywhere in New England, or crap, anywhere in the world. Come check it out. Speakers Fun, Fritz Aquatics will be there, North Finn will be there. All of the major Cichlid folks will be there giving talks, sharing information, and having fun. And if you're in the Jersey area, stay tuned because I'm gonna be giving away some gift certificates, some filters, food, pizza, and fun right at the Fish Hut of New Jersey. It'll be after work probably on the 16th, and you could win some really cool stuff. So thank you to the Fish Hut of New Jersey for allowing me to do what I'm doing, and hopefully I will see you there. All right? Now let's check out the HW5000. What's going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson, and today we're gonna talk about the FX6 Killer. Or maybe, we're not sure yet, but today we're gonna unbox the HW5000 from Sun Sun, which Ming Trading Company was nice enough to send me one to do a full unboxing and then a review, and I'm really stoked. I haven't even opened the box legitimately. However, some key things you need to know. This will be available soon for $169.99. That's retail. A few online retailers will have it and it will be released really soon. And I'll have more details that I'll be able to post on Instagram and Facebook. So if you do me a favor and follow me there, you'll get the up-to-date information on where you can find this beast for $169.99. The other cool part is you and I are gonna see this for the first time. Is it an FX6 killer? I don't know, but we're gonna give you all the schematics. We're gonna talk about, is it better in terms of on paper? Because we know, let's be honest, some things on paper always sound better. But listen to this. The HW5000 is 110 volts. It's got a nine watt UV sterilizer. I don't turn them on, that's up to you. And you have to run them constant. And I don't think it's big enough to operate on a tank the size that you're gonna put this on. Now, the power of this, what I'm reading, it can go all the way from 10 watts of power to 40 watts of power. It has a smart controller. It's got a drain outlet, a lamp head, water pump, handle, lock, adjustment switch, sponges, water filter baskets, three of them. I mean, this is designed to compete specifically with the Fluval FX6. You know that I enjoy the Fluval FX6 and you know that I enjoy the Sun Sun. So is this going to replace my FX6s from now on? Let's find out just based on an unboxing. All right, so let's, let me pick this up for you. Oh, it literally looks like an FX6. Let's pop this bad boy out. Now Sun Sun is known for utilizing cheaper plastics. Their tubing is rigid. Um, they use these kind of weird clamps on some of the new Sun Suns. If you watched the last video, uh, you'd see that. So I hope that they've made those adjustments on the 5000 and they're for the better. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let me scoot up a little bit, because he's about to get lit. Um, first impressions, very, very industrial. But these hoses, what? Look at that. Ribbed hoses for your tank's pleasure. But no, man, these are, they're smooth inside. Sun Sun, you're listening. Sun Sun's trying to be like Honda Motor Company, listening to, dude, no kink, no kink. Listen to me, no kink. And these aren't, these are actually better quality than the Fluval FX6 and that's, that is something out of the box. But yeah, they, hold on. Yeah, they're pretty smooth. So the ribs on the outside, are, the, are just there, this is almost like a very, very expensive, like a Dyson vacuum cleaner hose. But it's smooth on the inside. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's pretty smooth. I like it. 
Is this long enough? I don't know. I like it. So, so far, hose. Primo. I'm digging it. You got two hoses, of course, so that's pretty schnazze, huh? You're going to want two hoses, so a fluval sends you one long hose and you can cut it. Uh, that's a great idea. Maybe Sun Sun could do that in the future, but honestly, I think it should be enough based on the height of this thing. But we're going to take that out last. Do me a favor. Let me know in the comments what you think about this filter. And like, share, subscribe, do all that happy stuff. All right? Ugh. I don't want to take the filter out. I don't want to ruin the fun. All right. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No. So let me take this down. And let's open this bad boy. Got your, honestly, it's a cheapo manual. I actually prefer that. It's less and it's all in English, which for those that speak English, it's perfect. The other ones that were coming in were in Chinese um, and French and it was very difficult to understand. But right off the gate, um, it gives you problems and solutions like the causes, which I really like, like O-ring is out of place. UV bulb is defective, power outlet has no power. Um, the dimensions for this monster, so listen up, are 15 by 15 by 21.7. These are all inches, and if we're looking for millimeters, it's 380 by 380 by 550. Um, it's 110 to 120 volts, nine watt UV sterilizer, and the pump wattage can go all the way can go all the way to 40 watts. Tells you how to do it. Hopefully this is self-priming. We're about to find out. All right, let's get to the nitty gritties. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is like, so, these are legit like the same clips. Maybe a little bit cheaper than Fluval, but at $169.99 with the power, if not more power on paper than the FX6, that's almost 400 bucks, unless you're getting it on sale, which is gonna be increasingly harder to do. These are gonna work just fine. Same kind of attachment as the FX6. However, they there's a little bit of metal in there, good for you. Uh, plastic seems pretty solid. It really seems just like the Fluval plastic. Uh, this is a spacer. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hopefully, yeah, you could take this one off. This will just rest on there. And then of course, well actually you're gonna pump it that way, but you could take it off and just utilize the screws right over the top. Now, I'm not sure. Yep. So if you watch my last video, the HW3000, it has these cool rings, right? These O-rings on here. This, this plastic is very, very sturdy. It's not as cheap and it's not as thin. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's not as thin as the old one, like the 704 or the 304, but I really like that suction. There doesn't seem to be bypass on there, which is good. Eh, telescoping. I mean, Cheapo, but it's smaller. I like smaller because I can customize this. I could put a sponge over it. With the Fluval, eh, it is big, it works, but because I utilize aquarium backgrounds, this is way better. And it's cheap and easy to fix. And then a ton of suction cups that, I don't know, I never use. It didn't break. And then we're gonna run the same thing. So you got your intake and your return has the same plastic. Um, the spray bar seems to be thicker in terms of diameter. So bigger diameter and a little bit denser plastic. I don't know. Um, I don't typically use these, 
Um, I have in the past in a few tanks, but I would much rather use the two-way directional. But it's customizable. That's something that you don't get with an FX6. And you could DIY it, but for 170 bucks, why should you have to DIY it, right? Boom, right here. Uh, let's put all this back in the box because we got a couple more goodies. And legit, it looks like a FX6. Like seriously, they're, they're identical. I'm not gonna show you both of them. Uh, but they already come pre-lubed, right? They literally have the same locking mechanism Let's see, they tested it. They tested this one, which I also like. Um, so if it does come wet, it's probably tested. And then they may, not, they may not test all of them, but this is, this is something. This is very well made. This is identical. I wonder if an FX6 one would fit and we could test that. Um, I'll test that on Instagram. So if you want to know that, head over to Instagram. But this is pretty snazzy. And then you have an external controller. Let me move out of the way for this one. So let me see if it says anything because honestly, I'm literally learning this with you. So the controller, um, okay, I I'm going to guess here. So it has a variable frequency conversion piece. Uh, it can hang on the side. So if you got a stand or you just literally pop like a little dilio there um, on the inside of your aquarium and then it's got these two connectors which i'm assuming go right to the pump itself and you can change the fan you can change the uv sterilizer which mine would remain off and then you can change the pump speed so ultimately level one through whatever and then up and down in terms of the intensity i like that adjustable flow rate which you get on the fluval, but you're reducing it from the actual attachments, which, whoa, you're doing the same thing with this. So you could still change the variable speed. It does say on and off, which I like. And does it say return? Hopefully that does, we'll show you that in a moment. But yeah, I'm digging this. It does say Sun Sun, it's branded. Um, and I'm assuming that says Sun Sun. If anybody's Chinese and you can read that, tell me what that says. I believe it's Sun Sun. Um, and if you could put it in the comments, that would be great. But I mean, well made, just like the buttons feel, ta you know, you can hear that. They're tactile, huh? They've got that haptic feedback, although they're not capacitive, they're legit buttons. So I like that. It seems to be well made, it's durable, it's sturdy, and the, the wires are durable. I like that, I really do. So it's letting you know, if you didn't know, that you have the HW5000. So, so far, I am loving, absolutely loving the quality of the attachments, hands down. Um, HW3000 kind of sat in between the 304-704 and where I was with comparing it to the FX6. And some people say, well, I don't like the FX6, I like the Eheim, that's fine. I'm comparing it to the FX6 because that is what I keep as the epitome in my head of canister filtration. So now let's get to the canister. What? This thing is a beast. It is legit like an FX6. So right out of the box, it does say what I wanted to say. It says in, it says out. You probably can't see it because it's washed out, but this is gonna be your in. This is your out. It has these nice O-rings, two of them actually, um, very, very similar to the FX6. And I'm gonna keep comparing that, but this is saying it has 4,600 liters an hour at a max height of 3.8 meters. Remains to be seen. Um, this is a little weird. Let me, let me hold this bad boy up close. This is my new baby. No, this is very sturdy. Look at that. So you've got your adjustment. So when you're trying to do some water changes, they literally, whew, they, they like legit took this. Just going to pop this off. Boop. 
It's like a little duck fin, huh? Huh? What is that? Like a like a flipper? But a little cheap. I'm a this is a little I'm a little skeptical of this piece. Um, but it, it's secure in there, it's just a little cheap. Pop this bad boy on, and then you're gonna tighten it here. This seems to be okay. I mean, well, I can legit hear that suction. No, not anymore. But I like that. And here's your your duble pieces. So this is going to be something different, okay? This is going to be your attaching to the controller. And then you're going to have two coming out this way. So cord management's going to be a little difficult, but this is thick. This is like this is legitness. So Let's pop it open, okay? We've got the outside, it's white and black. It's like a stormtrooper, if you're into that. So let's see how this works. Whoa, okay. So this is a whole ring. You just, I don't know if I, let me see. Uh, okay, so that's the locking mechanism so it doesn't pop off. So you got your little safety here. But if you got kids, you're gonna have to pay attention. Look, that's how easy it is to pull off. It's probably going to break if you're rough but it just sits there, so just pay attention to it. Keep it to the back of the aquarium so that the kids can't see it or you don't mess with it. And then it's ultimately popping this ring off, right? That's it, look at that. It's like a, it's like a chastity. <laughs> so that's it, you just pop that off. That is gonna break. At some point, this is going to break, but it's gonna do what it needs to do. So just be aware that, that you need this piece because it's what's keeping the whole thing together. Um, just be, be aware, that, don't be rough with this. And now, oh, so I like that. When I pop, this is like, seriously, look at that. Oh, super legitly made, well done. Um, I like that, and I, I like that it doesn't have the connections on here so when I take it off I don't have to worry about breaking that piece. So this one does come with media. I don't know if I would use it, um, but I don't know if yours is going to come with it. You've got your traditional sponges. Let's pull the baskets out. It's, like, it's just like an FX6, but whoa. Ha! These are a little bit cheaper, but really, you're gonna have to bend them to break them. I uh, really, this is, this is perfectly fine the way it is. I like that the basket is flat and not concave, because I feel like I'm getting more. I'm getting way more out of it. And all the tubes are built in there, so maybe that helps with filtration, I don't know. But they're secure on there. You're gonna wanna add some bio, because the bio is gonna need to be done, so they give you bio balls. And then that's pretty much it. It's just basket, 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 three baskets, all the same, back in, and that's it. And then you've got your canister with your O-ring. That's a hefty O-ring. And this is, this is actually better built. It feels heavier and more sturdy than an FX6. So I'm stoked to see how this works. So Sun Sun HW5000, initial thoughts? I think Sun Sun knocked it out of the park. You're always gonna have a little bit of, ah, I don't like this, or I like that, or I wish they would have done this. Well, we're not manufacturing them, right? So when I look at it over the years from the first Sun Sun that I've ever purchased to this one, we are in 2019 and at $170, I am letting every other major canister filter manufacturer based on quality alone, watch out because this Sun Sun HW5000 could be the next biggest canister filter on the market. Now, I don't wanna say that I'm the one that turned the, the hobby on to Sun Suns, but I really felt like Sun Sun and FX series filters together, I've been doing for four or five years and to see it explode in this way, it's really cool. So to be a part of certain brands growth, and not have your name attached to it just based on you enjoying the product and seeing it grow. I mean, look at North End. Really? So I'm just super excited to be a part of Sun Sun's journey and for the company to 
reach out and let me have an HW5000 before they go on sale to test, to show, it's crazy. So in about a week, I will have this canister fully tested. I am going to put it on an empty aquarium, check flow, show it to you, and then overall talk about the power and the ease of use. I'm excited. I hope you are too, because the Sun Sun HW5000, based on quality, they win the JW Fish Power Award for initial quality. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, let me know what you think about the initial quality based on what you saw on camera. What are your thoughts? Is this something you're gonna think about purchasing? Check out northfinusa.com. Use the code THANKS10. Thank you for being a part of this crazy journey and I'm glad that you're still here. And if you don't like some things, you don't like some things. And if you're a troll, you're a troll. That's great. We're gonna have fun in the comments either way. So hit the notification bell, subscribe, like, share, and if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Stay till after the holla to get a little bit of motivation. You know what's next. Ah oh, so you're watching this on Sunday. It's a short week, it's Independence Day. I read something somewhere. You want the world to change, but you're not willing to accept the change that you need to make for yourself first, right? You can't change everybody else in the world if you're not willing to make changes yourself. Reflect on that. Happy 4th of July. Enjoy Thursday's video. And thank you. Toodles.